That's right, stage 5 with its 9, uh, 7, rather, cobbled sections, gets its own video. Since I haven't finished 1 through 4 yet, Astonis Vincenzo Nibali is in the lead by 2 seconds and Sky's Chris Froome is riding with a wrist brace following a crash on stage 4. And, oh yeah, it's pouring rain and there's a stiff tailwind ramping up the pace. War Memorial Gravestones included for ominous foreshadowing. A strong early break went, notably containing Astana's Liwe Vestra to take some pressure off his teammates, but watching them in the pack, they weren't sitting on. Here's Nibali up on the curb for position like a proper classics pro, his team at the front holding him in that sweet spot, but where is Froome? Ah, here he is, getting off the tarmac half a kilometer later. He remounted quickly and was well supported on his return by teammates and competitors alike. Can't be too hard on Sky, after all, even the breakaway experienced a crash, but Astana were a constant presence at the front for the first 60 kilometers. A Nibali nature break at 98k to go seemed to initiate a truce, letting the gap run out to 3 minutes until Cannondale took over pacemaking 10k later. But even then, the yellow jersey was never far from the front, as the increasing tempo saw crash after crash in the bunch. Sky made a concerted effort to get Froome forward, but the reigning champ couldn't seem to hold his own in the fight for position within the bunch. When Froome crashed again at 68k to go, he came up in a world of hurt, and was forced to abandon before even reaching the cobbles. Froome wasn't the only one struggling. Gaps had already appeared in the bunch before the first sector, and Belkin Sepp Van Marka touched off hostilities with a cheeky dive inside Alberto Contador's takeoff Saxo team. The first sector reduced the pack to 25, with still 59k to go, and already Movistar's Alejandro Valverde and BMC's TJ Van Garderen were chasing. The mud-slicked sector at 48k left even less room to hide. Nibali was able to follow Van Marka's bold specialist lines, while his GC rivals struggled to even keep moving. Lotto Belasol's Lars Bach took a spectacular tumble in the next sector at 38k, temporarily scattering the group and putting Van Marka off the front with teammate Lars Baum. But again, Nibali was well supported and even had the chops to close some gaps himself, dabbing around the occasional crashed teammate for good measure. The Astana driven chase caught the Belkins just as they were catching the break, and immediately Westra went right back to work, trying to put more time on Contador and the other GC contenders, already over a minute down. In fact, the growing gap prompted Lotto and Garmin to try and pace Jurgen Vandenbroek and Andrew Talansky back out of the cheap seats on the next section of cobbles. Back in the lead group, Van Marka was struck with a flat, and as Sagan became preoccupied with eating his glasses, Bohm took a brief flyer, only to be brought back once again by Astana. By 13k, Gary Thomas and de facto Sky leader Richie Port had joined the GC group Exodus, while Astana continued their dominance, coming off the last sector of cobbles alone in a group of three. Bohm bridged up shortly afterward, while a few groups back, Port and Thomas had joined Tolansky, now over two minutes down. After 150 some odd kilometers at the front, Westra finally cried uncle, leaving just three in the lead. Bohm gamely took a few pulls shortly before becoming the only rider all day to outclass Nibali on the cobbles, coming off the final sector in sight, but well out of reach of the GC leader and his teammate, Jakob Fulsong. Back among the overall contenders, Thomas and Port used the same sector to make space on Tolansky, but the race remained minutes up the road, with Bohm winning, Fulsong leading Nibali across 19 seconds later, and Sagan beating Cancellara to kick off a long train of stragglers over a minute down. By the end of the day, the overall standings put Nibali 145 up on Vandenbroek, his closest likely GC rival, and over two and a half minutes ahead of non-Froome pre-race favorite Contador. I'm Cosmo Catalano, and that's how the race was won.